like to leave the house around like seven but it's okay i just hate getting around in the dark i don't know what it is i don't know if it's just because my eyesight's bad or what but i just hate getting around when it's still dark outside and the sun literally doesn't come up until like 7 30 now <laughs> drill and some screws throw some dog treats in there ignore that um, and screw your crates right into your table so that you don't have to worry about them tipping over a lot of markets are going to require you to have a certain amount of weight on your tents whether they require it or not you're going to want weights if it's a windy day um, you're gonna be really stressed out and worried about your tent blowing away my tent came with empty sandbags and I filled them up and so I used those on top of another weight that I got from Amazon. And the best way to connect them to your tent is to use bungee cords. You can attach the bungee cord to the top of the frame, wrap it around the leg of the tent, and then hook it onto the sandbag. Large fish 
sculpture vase. Um, he talked me down on the price, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with because um, I price my things high because, you know, it's better to price them high and see if they sell and then, and then price them lower than to price your pieces low and then have them like sell right away. In my opinion, I'm not a business person, so don't take don't take my uh, word for it. But I know that when I come one week and something doesn't sell and people are like put off by the price, I can I can lower it the next week. I just think it's funny. Like he really he really like tortures me in order to like buy the piece. Like it's crazy. I'm really glad that it sold and it really made being here worth it today because I have not sold a ton other than that. But the funny thing about the fish faces is that, um, I'll just throw out my article that I wrote about them here. Um, so he is essentially um, part of an art exhibition without even noticing. I am currently glazing these teeny tiny mushroom pendants for a large wholesale order. Um, and previously I was working on those lamps. I like to have something to do at the markets. First of all, because otherwise I'm just sitting here not getting work done and, and I, that bothers me. Also, it really draws people in. They want to come in and see what you're working on and they like to know that you're the one who made everything in your booth. This like proves it to them. Okay, you got me all straight away then. So I've actually never had anyone um, break something at a show before and someone just dropped a one hitter and broke it. Um, yes. I thought about buying it but I said I don't need a kill. Do you want so in the case of something breaking, I mean it's really up to you what you decide to do. I think it's very rare that someone will come in and like break one of your items and not offer to pay for it. She definitely did offer to pay for it and I don't know, I just felt bad and it's kind of an expensive piece like to just break and then have to pay for it. If it was something that I spent a ton of time on and I really loved, I, I probably would have take, taken the payment but I, I know that pieces being broken is, is a risk that I take coming here so I just kind of factor that into like the cost of being here. It's okay, I didn't, I didn't ask for her to pay for the piece, um, I just told her it was okay. And you know, that's also a way to like build good relationships with people so she might tell her friends about like, oh they didn't make me pay for that and so they might come back and see my booth next week and then buy something. Another thing that I'm doing this week is I'm taking down emails and phone numbers. This is the um, sheet that I made. I just made it on Canva. Some people have asked to give their phone number because they don't check their email. So I'm, I'm right now just taking things down on my phone because someone actually took my Sharpie on accident. Come up with a reason to get people's emails. Right, right, right now I'm planning on offering classes. So I have a sign that says, ask me about classes. And then when they say they're interested, I take their phone number and their email and I put it down. So now I'm, I'm building up a list that I'm gonna be able to contact for when I do start teaching classes so that I can I can have that list to message and get students. But I'm also taking numbers and um, emails for a giveaway. I'm doing a custom pet bull giveaway. And so that's another reason that I'm able to collect some emails and numbers to go on my email list. My email list is where I announce like everything. So it's kind of hard most of the time to get older people on Instagram. So if you know that your audience um, of where you're going to be selling is a little bit older, then you can um, collect emails, get them on your email list. He is fast asleep. <laughs> I would say overall today was a really successful market. So with everything, obviously including the really big piece that I sold today, 
I made over a thousand dollars and it really just goes to show like you never know when you're gonna have a good day at the market last night I was like man this is gonna be a waste of my time it's gonna be raining all day nobody's gonna be there I'm not gonna sell anything so upset this morning when I when I realized that like all of the pieces I had made for this market were no good and most of the pieces I was gonna have today were gonna be pieces that I have had for weeks and it just was great like it just went great and and you just never know with markets like you really cannot expect what's going to happen it was great weather all day like 75 we've been sweating our asses off every single weekend at these markets and it was fabulous i try to give you guys like a few tips here and there i definitely want to make a sit down video that is all tips for artisan markets so if you have any questions um, or anything you are wondering about for markets leave them in the comments below the main like benefit of markets isn't even always the sales that you make sometimes it's the connections i have made amazing connections at this specific market i have now had three galleries approach me at these markets and now I'm about to start working with all three of them. My art hasn't been in any galleries up to this point. I think that's gonna do it for me today. If you saw any pieces in this video that you love and you have to have, if they didn't sell today, they are available on my website. Link will be down in the bio. And yes, please leave me a comment. I'm making these videos because I wanna interact with people online. But yeah, let me know what you think, let me know. Um, what your tips are for markets. I'm really kind of technically still new to this, so I will definitely take any tips. Let's let's talk. Um, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and like I said, please check out my website. I'm doing a giveaway right now on my Instagram for a free custom pet bowl. You choose the size, you choose the style, and you choose the name on the front. So just follow these rules if you wanna enter. Thank you guys so much. I hope you love the video. Let me know if you want me to keep making these. I'm gonna try to be consistent on YouTube now. Okay, have a good day, bye.